Well, one thing about Walmart runs, <laughs> they're never boring. I don't know what kind of an incident has taken place here today, but that is not the reason we're here. Let's proceed on forward with the adventure. Well, hello there, and welcome to another beautiful night for an adventure. Tonight's adventure brings us to Walmart. <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen in Tommy Travel's history, but indeed it has. Today is the day before Thanksgiving, and usually on Thanksgiving Day, that's when I go over to my mom and dad's, and the entire Tommy Travel's family, eat some turkey and mashed potatoes and gravy and stuffing, that green bean casserole with the onions on top. Beautiful and delicious, but Thanks to 2020, that is not going on tomorrow. So I thought, what else should I do with my Thanksgiving? And I've decided to make Thanksgiving a day of giving <laughs> instead of being just thankful. And so this should be really fun. There is a place called New Hope Baptist Church right here in the St. Paul area that is helping communities in the St. Paul area with many different things, including what I'm going to be picking up tonight. I asked the pastor, what do you need? If you were in Walmart, what would you be picking up? He says, we've got enough food items, but we need paper goods, laundry detergent, dry goods, things like that. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to Walmart here. We're going to use some of the blessings that I've received from doing this YouTube channel and we are going to give back to New Hope Baptist Church who will be in turn giving back to the community. <laughs> this should be really, really fun and it should be a nice warm feeling in my heart when it's all said and done. Regardless of how many views and things like that, doesn't matter. We're just going to do this for the good of giving. And if you guys want to come along for this adventure, please do so. Welcome to another edition of Tommy Travels. It's Tommy Travels. Come on with me, you guys. Let's go give what there is to give. Yep, I think we're gonna need one of these. <laughs> one of the very few carts left available here. And away we go. Wow, look at this. The day before Thanksgiving, there's a lot of stuff swiped off the shelves already here at Walmart. But we're still gonna find some things for the people in need, starting with some Kleenex. We have some puffs. Let's fill our cart with some of these, shall we? We'll grab a few. Just throw them in there. I don't know how many we're gonna wind up with, but we're gonna do we're gonna do a bunch. So there is our Kleenex, and one of the biggest things he said they are in need of is laundry detergent. So we are gonna pick up plenty of laundry detergent for the people. Let's put it in and let's give, give, and do some more giving. Laundry detergent. Let's get some of these, throw them in there just for some good measure. We're gonna have a lot of stuff. So our collection is coming along quite nicely. Now we're just gonna grab some paper towels for the people, a couple of them. Very nice. It's fun to donate to the community. There we go, the box is coming with me. There we go, get a few things of paper towels. And let's see what other random things we can find. Oh, here we go. How about some diapers? There's got to be somebody out there that needs some diapers. Some Huggies Little Swimmers. Let's throw them into the cart. Look at this cart. It's getting huge. Let's throw in a few of these. How about one of these? There we go. Wow. <laughs> I think we're just about at my car load here. Let's see if we can find anything else, though. So far, there's been nothing fun in this giving spree. All just diapers and Kleenex, <laughs> laundry detergent. How about some crayons for the kids? Kids love crayons, don't they? Let's throw in, let's throw in a whole bunch of crayons. 
add some color to the mix here, huh? What do you say? Throw these in. It's got to make some, for some happy kids out there. Get some of all different kinds of colors. Throw them in. What the heck? Very nice. That is looking good. If you're in the need for a Christmas tree, they've got you covered here as well. Look at that one with Frosty the Snowman on top. I like that. They've got all kinds, all different colors, and oh, look at that one. Even for the outdoors, that would take up the whole front lawn. I love that. And a little dog to put right underneath it, and there's Santa himself. And finally, to top it off, why don't we add a little bit of toothpaste into the mix? Throw some in the cart here. Oral hygiene, very important these days. So let's just throw some toothpaste in and now I think we've got ourselves a cart, ladies and gentlemen. On second thought, now we have ourselves a cart. <laughs> right little baby Santa Bear 2020? That's right. Well, my goal was to deliver a trunk load of stuff and we have accomplished our goal. That, my friends, is a trunk load. And unfortunately, the church is closed tomorrow for Thanksgiving, so we are gonna schedule this to be dropped off on Friday. And so that should be fun for the second part of this adventure. Look at this beautiful day we have here. My goodness, it is now Friday, Black Friday the day after Thanksgiving. And what a beautiful day to get our giving on. That's right, after we get some gas, it's time to head to the church and drop off our load of goodies. This should be awesome. Well, I figured as long as I was at the gas station here today, I would add a little bit more to the stack of stuff. Look at all of this stuff. I added that bag yesterday. We're gonna add a couple of more here today to give us a nice full pile. There we go. Get the bear adjusted. Now that is a nice trunk load to go and give. And I believe we have arrived at our destination. This is New Hope. Baptist Church right here. Nice little community church. Helping out the community, giving to good causes. And I think our drop-off location is right up here. And that is Pastor Runny D. Patterson. That is who I talked with, and so I know I'm in the right place. Here we go, this is where the all the goods are going. Thank you so much for your help. Pastor Patterson? Yes, sir. Absolutely. That's Reverend Spence and Reverend Ingram. Nice to meet you guys. How are you doing? How are you doing? Very good. Hoping that this will go to help some people in need here today. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Absolutely. <laughs> I figured I would add a little teddy bear. <laughs> For some, somebody might want one. Oh yeah, one of these little kids. Yeah, some kid might yeah. need a few extra hugs this year, huh? Thank you, thank you. Yes. Wonderful. And this is Pastor Patterson, the person I talked with on the phone, and thank you so much for doing what you do, and why don't you tell us a little bit more about that here? And welcome to Tommy Travels, by the way. Well, uh, my name is Ronnie Patterson, Sr. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm the pastor of the New Hope Baptist Church, the senior pastor here of the New Hope Baptist Church. And uh, since March, since we've been going through the pandemic period, uh, our church has really just taken on a new mindset of uh, being uh, Jesus' hands, uh, being his eyes, his ears, his mouth, and his feet, uh, for helping our community and our neighbors and our friends. Uh, we have daily been uh, preparing hot, uh, nutritious, delicious meals that we take out to those that are living in tents, those that are homeless, those that are hungry, uh, the elderly and the needy. We go to several uh, senior high rise and passing out meals and food boxes every day. Uh, I just believe in the mandate that the Lord has put upon my life and my ministry. In Matthew chapter 25, where he said, when I was hungry, did you feed me? When I was thirsty, did you give me water to drink? 
When I was naked, did you clothe me? When I was sick, did you come pray for me? So uh, the New Old Baptist Church have taken, a, on, uh, taken on a new mission statement. Our new mission statement is if you have no hope, if you have lost your hope, come to new hope. The hope is not in our building, but the hope is in Jesus Christ. And we're trying our best again to be uh, the church that God is calling us to be, to get outside of the four walls, to meet the needs of our community. So since March, our church has really been a resource center for the east side of St. Paul, for the Twin Cities, for anybody that's in need. We don't discriminate of your race, your religion, or your gender. If there is a need, we'll try our best to meet that need. Uh, we give out again hot meals, we got grocery items, canned goods, household goods, baby supplies, you mean pampers, wipes, formula, tissue, paper towels, a dish detergent, washing powder detergent, <laughs> toothpaste, toothbrush, I mean whatever you can find in Walmart or Target, we try to have it here at New Hope Baptist Church where you just come to shop till you drop. I, our goal is that since we have been blessed so much, we want to be a blessing to our neighbors, our community, uh, nothing is too small or too great when they come to us being a blessing to those that need to be blessed. We thank God for our community partners, all the way from the Ramsey County Sheriff's Department, the St. Paul Police Department, uh, Bethlehem Baptist Church in Minneapolis, Faith Community Church from New Richmond, Wisconsin, to many of the churches we have partnered together just to make sure we meet the needs of our people. This past uh, Thanksgiving weekend, uh, we gave out a total of 130 turkeys wow. and food boxes. We started uh, last Friday giving out 180 turkeys and food boxes. On Monday, we gave out 82 turkeys and food boxes. On Wednesday, on Tuesday, we gave out 68 turkeys and food boxes. And then yesterday morning, our church did something that we never did before in my 16 years. We usually prepare the Saturday before Thanksgiving a meal to let people come in. But because of COVID-19, we was not able to do that. But we came together yesterday morning, uh, about 35 to 40 members of our church put together a Thanksgiving meal. And we went out and served those living in tents those that were homeless, those that was hungry. We went to some senior high rises. We delivered 192 hot, delicious meals. Wow. And so we was excited just to be a blessing. I challenge our church before we go home and enjoy our blessings, let's go out and be a blessing to others. And I was just amazed at other churches and other groups that was out there doing the same thing that we was doing. And so we open every day. We don't do this once a month. We don't do this once a week. Every day of the week, if you give Pastor Pete a phone call, 651-769-4687, 651-769-4687, our church number is 651-772-4080, 651-772-4080, you can call us. Even if we're not here, we'll meet you here at our campus and let you go through and get whatever you need. Those who want to be a blessing to the feeding ministry and to our helpers, you can certainly cash out me at dollar sign Ronnie Patterson Sr. Dollar sign R-U-N-N-E-Y-P-A-T-T-E-R-S-O-N-S-R. Dollar sign Ronnie Patterson Sr. R U N N E Y P A T T E R S O N S R. And I understand that you also suffered from COVID yourself. Yes, sir. I am a COVID 19 survivor. Back July the 1st, I was diagnosed. And from July the 1st to July the 31st, uh, my body was attacked by COVID 19 in the worst way. That was a couple of nights I thought I was not going to make it. But by the healing hand of the Lord, and the care of my wife and the prayers from across this country, I'm a COVID survivor. And I'm very passionate, very passionate. I know today you see me in the room, but yep. I always have my mask with necessary gloves. Mm -hmm. I'm very passionate about telling people, wear your mask, keep six feet apart, wash your hands off them, and let's protect one another. Let's be concerned about one another during this time. So I'm a COVID survivor, and I know what God can do and what we can do for each other. We just practice. The precaution, I always say, be careful and cautious, but don't, don't become fearful and faithless. Be careful and cautious, but don't become fearful. And we thank people like you who've come out here to give donations and to share with our community of the good things that we're doing.
thank you so much for everything you do and taking a minute out here to to uh, talk to my to my viewers and it's really not just me it's the help of the the members and the people who support Tommy Travels that this was able to be done and I feel so blessed to be able to give you this donation today well, on their you, behalf. Mr. Tommy, you don't know how much is appreciated and how much people are going to be blessed by kind people like you that come to, to, to partner with our ministry. Thank you so Thank much. You. Have a wonderful blessed day. Thank you. Well take a look at this view of downtown St. Paul. What a beautiful way to end this Thanksgiving Day of Giving adventure. And I want to thank everybody who supports this channel. Those who subscribe, of course my members and folks who donate to the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are the ones that made all of this possible. It was so fun to be able to go into Walmart and go on a little bit of a shopping spree knowing that everything that goes into the cart is going to put a smile on somebody's face, is going to help them get through these difficult times. I want to also thank the New Hope Baptist Church and Pastor Ronnie D. Patterson Sr. for taking some time to tell us what they're all about. Please feel free to donate uh, to the information that was given at the end of this video, as well as if you can do anything for your community, if you have a little extra to give, some donations or some extra time that you can give to support the community, I would encourage you to do that because it certainly is a good feeling. Thank you guys all so much for the support that you've given me here so far and I hope everybody had a happy Thanksgiving and I hope everyone has a very joyous and blessed holiday season and until next time, I hope to catch you on the flip side. I would also like to give a quick shout out to Bob and Pat from Live on Patrol. That's the channel I was watching that gave me the inspiration to do this type of an adventure this week. Thank you guys very much and we appreciate all you do.